Greetings, Warriors. This is Base Commodore. And uh, I just thought, I was just thinking about stuff and I kind of figured out how to put something really important into words. So I thought I'd put it into a little video for everybody for all times. <laughs> um, a lot of people, especially rich people, can't figure out why they're not happy. And they, you know, wonder why poor people are happy. And it kind of sometimes makes them jealous and angry, I think that um, poor people or uneducated people can be so happy. Um, <clears throat> well, I think the, you know, I've, through my personal experience, um, I think the secret is to, to either do something for the world, to leave a mark, a good mark in the world. You know, like they say, you die twice uh, when you, your body dies and then when nobody thinks about you anymore. But um, I think the real secret there is is to either help somebody or leave a mark, you know. And uh, I guess if you have children, you know, you're helping your children. That makes you feel good. A um, person like me doesn't want children, but that doesn't mean I'm not selfish. What I plan to do, in, in fact, I'm one of the kind of people who sacrificed all that, you know, kind of life, uh, which I did never wanted in the first place. Um, by never getting married or having kids, see? Um, so I thought I would create something for the world that would le be here long after I'm here, you know? Like, I'm still writing a lot of stories and things that I, I've already left my mark, you know? Every time you inspire somebody to do something uh, good it, or connect with somebody, like for me, I, you know how I figured, figured this out? <laughs> I, um... I started making comic strips for contests uh, from Blizzard Entertainment on their website that millions of people saw for Warcraft. So I won four times, once first place, and it was reading the comments of all the little details that I put into the comic where I connected with other people and where I the fact that I left a mark. And yeah, it looked good on my resume, but that wasn't that wasn't the half of it. I just felt good. Uh, connecting with people that I like <laughs> it was really cool um, to know other people out there are like me and uh, it's amazing so um, and and to be up on a prestigious website like that my artwork for everybody to see that's what made me feel good I've never felt that great it re and it laughed so hard so from not from my comics but from the comments that other people had so I figured, yeah, that's how you get happy. That's happy. I want that all the time. So I started thinking, yeah, I'm going to just do what I always wanted to do since I was a kid, and that's make cool movies, you know, with special effects and all kinds of stuff like George Lucas. <laughs> so I, want, I always said I wanted to be a little bit better than George Lucas, but somewhere around there in the movie-making business. Anyway... George Lucas has done far more than movie making, but you know, that's another story. So uh, I just wanted to um, say that. Okay, now that's how to be happy now. Like rich people, man, you know, they buy these cars and, and stuff like that to please people that don't even care about them. And they wonder why they're never happy because they, they only do things to please themselves and then they wake up the next morning uh, with a hangover and they don't understand that there's no amount of alcohol or drugs is going to make a person happy the next morning. Um, you, um, they just leave a wake of, of waste and debris. You know, their life is just a, you know, a, a trail of pollution. And, um, anyway, um, you know, that's what I hate about the boomer generation is that's all they did. They just, they took a beautiful planet and they just left it raped and ravaged. And uh, it's up to our generation to fix that with electric cars and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, you know, sustainable technology and whatnot. Not, not making plastic and filling it, just throwing it in the ocean. Um, so, you know, it's things like that that make you feel good is... is leaving the world a better place and uh this the the boomer generation is so 
angry and frustrated. They're never happy, and they're always pushing the blame on the generation before or after them. The, the, the fact that the, all the world wars happened in their time, it's like uh, so much destruction, so much waste and, and everything. I'm uh, glad we're moving out of that. So um, they, they, under, they don't understand why they're not happy. It's because they haven't figured out the secret, and that's why poor people or anybody can uh, be happy just by... That's how... That's why you see vagrants out on the street playing music and laughing together because, and they're all happy because they're all helping each other, you know, be, um, you know, get, get through the, whatever they get through. And, uh, just playing music sometimes is, uh, is huge. But, uh, yeah, and that's what makes musicians do it for free is because it makes them feel good that they're doing it. They get, they get nothing else from it. Anyway, um, so I guess that's that's my point. Is uh, oh, and another thing is, like I said, rich people do things to please people that don't care about them. But people that understand that you, the only way to be happy is to help other people, they only do it for people that want the help. They don't. They only do it for the people that love them. Content creators only do it for the fans. I mean, if you're if you're doing it to prove something, uh, then. You're, you're going to give up. You're going to get tired. But if you do it, to, you're always going to have fans and people who appreciate you. And you're always going to have haters. So the trick is to just forget about the haters and do it for the fans. And uh, that's, that's the end of the message. Peace out.